just because you put X number of hours in, that, do that doesn't mean that you're going to come out on top. You know, you're always making sure that when you leave, you can say that I got better today. Never taking a step back, always two steps forward. I think we're all really, really hungry and know that nothing's going to be given to us. Three, one, two, three. Hey. My name is Taylor Morin. I play wide receiver. I am a redshirt senior. I am majoring in a master's in business administration. My undergrad is in engineering, and I am from Centerville, Virginia. Touchdown, Westport, Taylor Morin. Touchdown, Taylor Morin. Taylor Morin, right after the strike, and runs away from his defender. Taylor Morin, wide open. If no one's buzzing, I'm just gonna come down to snow. You feel me? My dad is from right outside of uh, Philadelphia, so I grew up a really big Eagles fan. Some of my first memories were watching the Eagles games, and so that's really how I fell in love with it, was just me and my dad every Sunday watching the Eagles games and started playing football around the age of eight and I mean, fell in love with the game and just haven't looked back since. Family-wise, I'd say they're a, they mean the world to me. Growing up, I played basketball and baseball in addition to football. My uncle actually went to Wake and he was on the baseball team. Spring, summer, and fall, I was playing travel baseball and then in the fall, obviously, football. And I actually attribute to a lot of my ability to track the ball when catching punts um, to baseball and catch and fly balls. My eighth grade year, I made the decision. I was like, hey, mom and dad, like, this is what I want to do. I, I don't know if I can play in college, but I'm going to give everything I have and, you know, I'm going to go after this thing, so. My uncle like kind of had instilled it in me like, hey, like, wake, like kind of put it in the back of my mind. They offered me a gray shirt, but like wake was really the one that I wanted. So I'm like, this is a great opportunity. Like, hey, let's do it. So I spent the entire spring of my senior year just waiting for a call. Um, and luckily the spot opened up and I was like, hey, like, I'm just thankful to be here. And now I'm gonna do everything I can to, you know, get my butt on the field, so. You can be patient at the top of that. It can be honestly five steps to the corner before you sit it. Hey, competing in everything we do. Half line, ball security, don't matter. Let's do it. Slides to be slides to three, one, two, three. Slide. I think me playing multiple sports growing up, I was able to get exposure to um, a lot of different types of people. So I see myself as someone that gets along with pretty much everyone on the team. Cat with eight legs. Octopus. Actually, hey, I just guess. If you have two pink eyes, is it called double pink eye or pink eyes? I got three votes for pink eyes. Fur, you're coming downhill on that scaring drill. Okay. Like Coach Clawson preaches, like, hey, like these are gonna be the best men in your wedding, like best friends for life. And like, I, I mean, coming in, I was like, all right, like, Oh, good. Oh, good throw. 
And it's funny because we're just the closest of friends. And with that, I'm able to lead in a unique way. Being able to build those relationships helps build that foundation. How there's no separation. Like that's why you gotta, you gotta push up after you make that initial stick. Obviously leadership's not a one size fits all. So depends on the situation, depends on the person. But you know, I'm, I'm very thankful for this brotherhood that you know, I've gotten being a part of this program. Coach Lambo, what you got that hat on for? It's not even sunny out. Oh, yeah. Here, one. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, wait, they reset the clock. They just add more time. Did I just, did I lose it? No, you're not. Watch out now. Watch it, oh, watch it, oh. Oh, man. Good boy. My name is Will Cobb. I'm a long snapper. I'm a redshirt junior here at Wake Forest. I'm studying political science and I'm from Matthews, North Carolina. Where is that one? Let's go. My, uh, my entire family has basically been sports oriented my whole life. My brother plays lacrosse. I played football my whole life. I haven't really ever been a multi-sport athlete. I played a position on offense in high school and then I found the opportunity to start long snapping and that's, you know, sophomore year in high school is kind of really where I took off. I started taking it seriously and uh, kind of thank God I did because that's how I ended up here, so. When I was a younger kid, I basically tried every sport and football is, you know, kind of the you know, beginning love. When I got to high school, uh, my plan was to play football my freshman year and then transition into wrestling since they overlap in seasons. I ended up getting called up to varsity the end of my freshman year to be a backup snapper and then I got my first start in the state championship. In sophomore year, I took snapping more seriously, went to, started going to camps and then um, it kind of took off from there. Wake Forest for me coming here was a pretty easy choice. Um, I knew that it was a great academic school, which was something of a really high priority for me. You know, I get high academics here and I get to play football, so it's best of both worlds. I felt my hands cross over on that one. The location and everything was good though. Okay, good. I think I'm very intentional when it comes to practicing. I take all my drill work super seriously because long snapping is such a detail-oriented job. Good. I was like, I'm trying to, because the other day they were just like all right here. I just need them right there. You never, you're never going to get your name called on TV and you don't want your name called. Um, because if you do, then it means you're doing something bad. So the goal is always to keep your name off the TV. Oh, there we go. After the first couple of weeks, uh, I'm actually just really excited to be back in full gear and going. Um, you know, we've worked really hard this off season, so it's kind of exciting to like see everybody go full speed again um, and see some of the younger guys make the jumps. To, you know, it's kind of their time to make their impact. Tyler throwing you some good looks right now, bro. Yeah, what? Well, you ain't got there you go, Yeah. Good job, Kedra. And then also, you know, retaining that veteran leadership. Um, so I think both of those things are like things to be super excited about because when you put those two together, there's no telling what we can do. All right, hey, let's put in the work today. Let's go. Earn it on three. Earn it on three. One, two, three. Earn it. Great, we're off to a great start at spring ball. But as these weeks come together, we can't let the grind get to us, man. So keep pushing day by day, stack each and every day, and let's get after it. Earn it on me, earn it on three, one, two, three. All right. In the off season of 2021, we just showed up each and every day and we had fun with it. Um, I think that's got to be the same kind of approach. Like there's, we don't need to listen to what the media is saying. It's like that, that stuff doesn't matter. It didn't matter in 21. Like. When we were a great football team, we cared about what mattered most, and that's 
showing up each and every day and, and putting the work in. And, you know, the results will, will speak for themselves. Last four, baby. Last four. Finish strong. Yeah, Tamo! I feel like a team's mentality is just be super intentional about what you do. Um, every time you take the field, you try to pick on something that you want to work on and get better at. You know, you're always making sure that when you leave, you can say that I got better today. Never taking a step back, always two steps forward. Um, I think that's been the mentality since day one of spring ball, and I think it's continued on since then. Let's fly around, man. We said that's earnest, so that's earnest. Hurry on three. One, two, three. Hey. Let's go. Be intentional with every rep, and you can't let these 15 practices go by. You don't want to be too high or too low. You want to come and be consistent every single day. For us to have that success, you have to focus that every single day, not just on game day. Three, one, two, three. Hey.